Planes, Games with Jay. It's a new week. Last time was a doozy. Uh, but now let's talk to Kyoko. Yeah, she just showed up in our room. Um, hmm. It's so late. What happened? I have a favor I need to ask. Favor? Ah! What's your favor? Remember what Sakura said at the end of her note? I'm not going to just lay, da uh, lay down and die. I will fight you. I want to find out what she meant by that. Okay, but how do you plan to do that? Then Kyoko put her lips next to my ear and whispered. Hail Hydra. Mm. Um, the data, the data center Hail on the fourth floor. <laughs> the data center on the fourth floor. What? The data center. <laughs> I'll meet you there. <laughs> Without another word, she was gone. What the? Her words reverberated through my half-dazed head. The data center. But I thought it was locked. Okay. Do 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 do. -do. Not gonna warp there. Oh, that's right. Uh, I mean, uh, we can go through every single door look, and loading door. It's been a we week. We can do that if you'd like. I mean, I know you, the scenery is nice on the way. Um, uh, oh, the data center's right there, so we should just. I can't. I can't warp. Then it might be a cutscene outside or okay. something. Try going out. Yeah, trying to make me warp when I'm just. I have to go outside anyway. Interesting. Oh, okay, it just does it for you. <laughs> I made my way into the after hour school and headed for the data center on the fourth floor. <laughs> Eventually, I wound up at the data center, but when I arrived, Kyoko's not here. That's weird. She said she'd meet me. Again, if Kyoko was trying to kill Mac Otto. <laughs> like, Easy kill. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Mac Otto, put your head in the sink. <laughs> Is she maybe inside already? Put my hand to the door with a certain amount of force. Rattle, rattle. It didn't open. I tried again, but... Rattle, rattle. <laughs> I love chowder. <laughs> it must be locked. Rattle, rattle. What was it Kyoko said? The data center on the fourth floor? Oh-ho! What are you doing up, mister? Gah. Breaking into a locked room is incredibly prohibited, don't you know? Uh, well, I just... You're trying to tell me you didn't actually bust in yet, right? But... I can see that, you dolt! Don't waste my time telling me crap I can see for myself! It looked like you might break in any second, so I just thought I'd give you a friendly reminder. Or, are you gonna try and tell me you were sleepwalking or something? What? Oh, good morning, Monokuma! Oh, 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 yeah, whoa, oh, whoa. oh, man, oh, how did I get up here? Oh, I... you were sleepwalking! <laughs> oh, well, everything's fine! <laughs> uh, no, no, nothing like that. It's three o'clock in the morning for crying out loud. Even I get tired, you know. Stop being weird and go back to bed. What's wrong now? Why are you out here making a racket? You're Kyoko. <laughs> now you two? Whatever. The two of you just get back to bed. I'm positively exhausted from the class trial. Sure. You got it. Come on, Makoto. Let's head back. What? Let's head back. Huh? <laughs> We're leaving. I have no idea what's going on anymore. Don't worry about it. Let's just go. Okay. Yeah, yeah! Go on, get out of here! Shoo, shoo! So we left and went back to our rooms. And then... So, goodbye. Oh, hold on! Listen, what was all that about just now? She woke me up, made me go to the data center, which just so happened to be locked. And then she shows up late and we leave without checking a single thing. What was the point of all that? Don't worry about it. I figured that would be the end of our conversation, just like always, but... Well then, good night. Sure. And then that was over. But as I turn to leave... <gasps> Ikusaba Mukuro. Mukuro Ikusaba. <gasps> what? Kyoko was right next to me once again, whispering into my ear. Mukuro Ikusaba. The 16th student lying hidden somewhere in this school. <gasps> oh boy! Alright. <laughs> the one they call the ultimate despair? What the hell? What the. What in the battle royale? Man, surprise students! 
Meant to shake up the competition, maybe? Watch out for her. What the fuck? What the fuck? Anyway, chapter four. All star somebody once said sorry at the end. Sorry, Sakura. That really sucks. Oh, ooh. 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 <laughs> to be continued. Oh, man. The altar lump? What is this supposed to be? I don't know. Poison? <laughs> I'm like thinking about the, like the last trial. Like. Alter lump. I'm not. Mukuro Ikusaba. <gasps> what? Mukuro Ikusaba. Come on. The 16th student lying hidden somewhere in the school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. Oh shit. Oh, shit. Yoko told me to watch out for her. Mukuro Ikusaba. That was three days before the next incident. Oh shit. Oh shit. Three days before we will be faced with another murder. Oh. Fuck. Three days before the worst thing so far would reveal itself. Um. That corpse had like red fingernails. Hmm. Hmm. In the meantime, the day after Sakura's class trial, that morning in the dining hall. So, let's begin the usual post trial investigation. Hey, you didn't make small talk or anything. We never just get straight to the point like that. <laughs> if you want to keep up with me, you must refrain from pointless small talk. Uh, Jeez, how high is that horse of yours? No, no. He just acts like that to hide his own insecurities. <laughs> That's what I like to think anyway. I hope. Regardless, <laughs> if you want to defeat the Mastermind, you need to follow my lead. They creep around the school like a mouse, but the Mastermind's pride is as bloated as a cow's udder. And no matter what it takes, I will rid this world of them. Hey, Toko, you've been pretty quiet. Man, you're so boring now. You just sit there like a mushroom. Gonna, gonna start calling you Miss Mushroom. She didn't snap back at you. Her talking makes things difficult, so I told her not to open her mouth without permission. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> What? But if she can't open her mouth, she can't eat or drink water. And Jay's got to voice everyone. <laughs> I don't oh. care. Oh, fuck. Yeah. You got me a fuck you, man. No, and you're okay with that, Toko? <sighs> Jeez, how low is that rock you're hiding under? I believe this is the small talk Byakuya warned us against. Boy. And yet, I let myself get involved. <laughs> Dumbass. Damn. But it is now finished. I will never allow you to drag me down to your level again. We're going to begin our search. Stop running your mouths and start moving your legs. <laughs> Meanwhile, Makoto just like spits out the Cheerios. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Why did you spit them out and swallow them? Uh, uh, uh I'm sorry. <laughs> I, uh, pressure. <laughs> um, so fifth floor, right? Ba, 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 ba. Wait, there is no fifth floor. What? No, 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 there is, there is, there's another staircase. I, I, I remember. I just gotta remember, uh... It's over there. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Why, okay. What do you mean it's over there? I mean, no, keep going. You oh, could yeah, just yeah. go straight. Oh, well, you know, I'm just taking the scenic route. Again, yeah. I know it's a lovely view. <laughs> uh, foreboding, <laughs> randomly colored hallways. <laughs> Whoa! So here I am on the fifth floor of Hope's Peak Academy. This looks like this looks like the top of the the spa we went. To. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah, pretty similar. The fifth floor has been opened up to us, and it's totally different from all the floors we've seen up till now. For some reason, it feels unpleasant. Jeez, Makoto can't even enjoy a spa. <laughs> okay. Whoa, 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 whoa! The camera was like real jittery there. Uh, so we got a classroom. Let's open up this classroom. I don't like draft print classroom. Mm -mm. Um, are there coins? Yes, there is. Woo! Um, clock. But what's the point? 
<laughs> That's so depressing. <laughs> sure, I can see what time it is, but what's the point? I still have to wake up. Yeah, this sucks. <laughs> <laughs> what the this <laughs> drawing? It's Mac Auto. Gross. Who's watching? Oh, is that Kyoko? I'm just getting it's Kyoko, yeah. <laughs> huh? Does she want to talk to me or some about something? Toko, what's wrong? Is she trying to say something? I think she's almost. Just a little more, and I might get it. Uh, I'm sorry, but. I have no idea what it is you're trying to tell me. <laughs> she just let her shoulders drop. She looks so sad. I guess she gave up. Um. Okay. Let's see. Metal plates, blah, blah, blah. Um. Something over there. Another metal plate. Any coins? Nope. Clock? Nope. Alright, I'm out of here. See ya, Toko. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, we got like another classroom down there. Oh, there's Aoi. Let's go say hi to Aoi. Let's see. This floor feels different compared to all the others. I'm not sure what it is. Is there some reason for that? I hope it's not anything too creepy. All right. Oh, we're already here. Might as well check out these rooms. Let's see. Got another classroom. Three classrooms on the floor. That's new. Oh. <laughs> oh. My God. <laughs> What the hell is this? The grotesque horror of the room struck me hard and fast. What I saw was bad enough, but what I smelled, it was sour, pungent, and possibly rank. It smells awful, doesn't it? it? It's... It must be at least vaguely familiar to you. After all, you've been around your fair share of corpses. Are you saying... It's the smell of death. Their flesh and fat and blood. Oh, that's why there's blood all over the walls. Wow, you're so smart, <laughs> you, You're the one who asked, dumbass. <laughs> there was no surprise in his voice, no shock. But he was right. I experienced the smell more than once before. No, I, I was saying more so like Makoto. Like, come on, dude. You know, oh, to Mac. Yeah, okay, to yeah, Mac. Yeah, come on. <laughs> oh, Detective Mac Addo. I did it again. <sighs> but the smell here is strong, condensed. It's the smell of a battlefield. Monokuma must have... What, my fault again? Stop trying to blame everything on me! If you hadn't done what you did, this would never would have happened. No, 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 it's quite the opposite! The opposite? Yep, let me give you an itty bitty, itty squeaky little hint. As far as this room goes, I don't know a thing. I just left it exactly how I found it. What? How's that for a hint? Better than those stupid hints you get from NPCs and those mean old RPGs. Visual novels rule! But it's pretty scary, huh? Blood all over the walls and junk. Of course, even in the outside world, people die bloody, gruesome deaths every day. So it's not really a big deal. Just keep your chin up and keep on living, soldier! What's he talking about? He just left it the way he found it? What's the meaning of all this? They even damaged the clock. Oh, God. The biggest loss of all. Uh, it's blood. <laughs> it appears all the blood stains are dry. And their color has changed as well. I think it's safe to assume these stains are considerably old. This is all really blood? <laughs> of course. I wouldn't find it interesting otherwise. And it is interesting, I assure you. What on earth happened in this classroom? He seems like he's enjoying himself. No way I c can I keep up with someone like that. Okay, there's a uh, little well, shock drawings. Okay. Yes, that's what you call these little chalk drawings. <laughs> the the chalk people from Blue's Clues are yeah. back. Oh, that's scarier than this. Oh God. According to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I wish you could say I don't believe it. Um, that's the exit, camera, yada yada, nothing else, man, now, not a single coin here, huh? Yes, that's the priority. Um, Yakuya, about what Monokuma just told us, it's like I'm not even here, he must be lost in thought. Is he really thinking that hard? 
Or is he just flat out ignoring me? Both. <laughs> um, okay, all right. See you later, creepy man. Okay, everything's normal. Everything's normal. Um, you can. Oh, by the way, you can do circle of dash. What? 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 Oh shit! Oh shit! Yeah, now you have new freedom. Woo! Yeah. Okay. Uh, raw. Okay. It's only chapter five, <laughs> but I was like, I, I noticed these hallways are very long. <laughs> The sign hall says biolab. A biolab that we're for forbidden from seeing into. Kind of sounds like something out of an old cheesy horror movie. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, whoops. That's right. Too fast. Yeah. My newfound speed. It's uh, like, uh, you know, the Flash having to learn how to, <laughs> how to run. Oh, man. We got a... Oh, a dojo. Whoa! Whoa! Beautiful! Beautiful! Wow! Wow! Oh man! <laughs> Let's see. Okay. What Kyoko told me yesterday. What the heck did it mean? Mukuro Ikusaba. The 16th student, yada 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 yada. I told you this a thousand times. <laughs> what? Um, Kyoko? I'm not going to say anything. Huh? I can't say anything. Kyoko narrowed her eyes. Her gaze darted up to the surveillance camera. You understand why, right? Or why? Because you're shy? <laughs> she was trying to tell me that whatever it was, it was important. The mastermind couldn't find out. But how did Kyoko get her hands on info information that could be that important? We're finished here. She made it very clear that our conversation had come to an end. And just like usual, I didn't understand anything any better than before. Because I'm Mac Otto, the biggest dumbass <laughs> Mac Otto. Don't know shit. Oh, man. Oh, it's quite elegant. This is what you consider elegant? <laughs> I lived overseas for a long time, so this kind of Japanese-style scenery is refreshing. But considering the situation, is it kind of out of place? Are you guys not in Japan? <laughs> Wait, what? No, there's the suggestion that she always overseas. That's why she likes Japanese. No, no, but yeah, but why is Makoto saying it's out of place? Oh, just because it's like spooky, spooky. What spooky. if you saw this in a school, like with soccer pebbles falling down? That would rule, man. Yeah, you'd be like, <laughs> hmm, that's normal for schools. It's a straw <laughs> post. Do they use it for twining here, too? Oh, cry! Woo! Uh, is, are these trees any different? <laughs> Wow, look at these twigs. Okay, okay. They're, well, again, they're the same thing. Okay. I don't know. I don't think they look out of place. This is in my room. <laughs> that toilet seems pretty far away. Oh, I a saw the coin. coin. Woo. Oh, look, a ninja. A super <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, how honorable. It how reminds honorable. me of my family. <laughs> reminds me of my... Family history. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> let's see. Okay, let's go down. Whoa, what the the heck? What the heck? Whoa, it's a viable. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's a vile plum. <laughs> At first I thought I saw blue skies, <laughs> but turns out they just paint the walls and ceilings. Daddy. Oh, but uh all the plants are real. Uh, it's been a while since I've smelled vegetation. I also need to relax. I'm sure you like smelling vegetation. Oh, yeah, I can start my weed farm here. Yeah. <laughs> That's not what you're thinking, is it? Huh? Why? Is that bad? Don't you get it? Don't you realize the, tr the true horror of plant life? It's there, just beneath the surface, beneath their calm exterior. They're always watching and waiting. And when they decide they can't leave us in charge of Earth anymore, they'll put their <laughs> plan for global human... Extinction into action. Uh, what was that M. Night Shyamalan movie? The Happening? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the planets are killing people? <laughs> I'm serious. Sorry for spoiling The Happening. Yeah, oh uh, man. Did you see the trailer for his new movie? Uh, no. Old? <laughs> it's called Old? It's called Old. Oh. So these parents are like, we found a secret beach and we're bringing our kids here. And, oh, chickens. And, like, for some reason, the parents aren't aging. 
but the kids are aging. And you're like, my child was six years old, and all of a sudden she's a teenager and pregnant. What is happening? Oh, that was really good. <laughs> They're just regular chickens, right? Like, they don't eat people or lay bombs instead of eggs or something crazy like that. It seems safe. They're like the, what are they called from, from Legend of Zelda? Kukos. Kukos, yeah. yeah. You just swarm, peck at uh, Makoto's face. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you like chickens too, Makoto? Yeah, I love these little guys. They're seriously cute, right? And there's exactly five of them here. Exactly? Five. You know the number that comes after four and before six? As far as you know that. At least in terms of natural numbers. Anyway, whatever the number five pops up, that's a good omen. It contains the mysteries of the cosmos. It's a number of power. A, fre a refreshing number on par with hands squeezed all natural lemonade. He never lets me get a word in edgewise. Okay, five chickens. That's probably important. Um, oh, let me look at big old plants. Uh, what? What is this? This thing is super weird and super creepy. Flowers aren't supposed to get this big. Is this thing real? What the heck? Whoa. Watch out! What? That's a Monokuma flower. I came up with the name myself. Try and touch it and you're in for some real excitement. Your hearts are like, whoa! And the plants are all like, snap! And your flesh is all like, bleh, I'm dead. In other words, it's a monstrosity. It's pretty fucking amazing if I do say so myself. A student at Hope's Peak added improvement after improvement and created this miracle creature. The ultimate botanist, although they don't go here anymore, they died during the tragedy. By the way, despite how it looks, that flower is super practical. It can eat paper, plastic, even people, so it's totally good for the environment. Such an eco-friendly creation is vital for the future growth of a healthy society. Not that I know anything about that myself. <laughs> Spouting more and more nonsense, Monokuma eventually disappeared. Whatever it is, I better keep my distance. Hey, coin! <laughs> Dives in first to get a coin. <laughs> oh, coin! Um, there's a building back there. Just to be sure, I should take a look in that tool shed. This place seems totally disorganized. From a lawnmower to fertilizer, flower pots to farm tools. And leaning against the back wall. Is that a pickaxe? Oh man, you can do OG Fortnite right now. <laughs> There's something carved into the handle of this pickaxe. Oh my god, crazy diamond. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Crazy diamond though. Okay. Crazy, crazy diamond star. <laughs> Look at all these coins. Dude, I can't wait to go to Gachapon. Uh, there's like a cup, or no, pots. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I'll grow some flowers in my room. I can't trust Mac Auto to uh, take they care of flowers. Day. Yeah. They will never grow. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh my God, all these coins. All right, let's get out of here. Okay, okay. I don't think I've seen everything. Oh, right, what's uh, this? Yeah. It's a Pokedex. Hello, welcome to the botany room. <laughs> Does it control the air conditioning or something? Oh. It's for the sprinklers. Sprinklers? And it's a Pokedex. Yeah, it controls the sprinklers in the garden. What kind of Pokemon is this, Pokedex? What kind of Pokemon are you? I'm Ursaring. The sprinklers <laughs> are set to go off every morning at 7.30. Don't you dare change it without permission. Of course, the settings panel is locked, so you couldn't change it if you wanted to. So that means the sprinklers go off at 7.30 a.m. every like morning? I'm not ring combined with giraffe rig giraffe <laughs> <-ursa-ring -ong> ring <laughs> Yeah, that's me. Yep, you got it. It's super user-friendly, which sucks. So if you get here too early, you'll get drenched. So watch yourself. But you're not a little kid, right? You're too old to go running through sprinklers anyway. Nah, man, I love running through sprinklers. Exactly. It's dope. Oh, do you have some kind of water fetish? Water's great. <laughs> oh, you got a water fetish, huh? I'm gonna tell everyone. <laughs> I just tweet, 
Jay Perrier has a water fetish. What is a water fetish? I, I uh maybe <laughs> maybe I won't ask that. You know what? You know, maybe you're better off not knowing. Yeah, I don't want to know. I don't want. I don't want to know what that entails. I'm like, <laughs> are we talking like golden showers, or are we talking like? No, but that's pit. That's, <laughs> that's not water. Oh, is it? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what exactly he's referring to. Yeah, okay. And maybe I don't want to know. Yeah, I don't want to know. Um, I guess I've seen what there is to see up here for now. But once again, nothing I found seems to make any real sense. I need to head back to the dining hall and find out what the others turned up. Do 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 do. Oh, one after another, everyone made their way to the dining hall. And before too long... It would appear everyone has returned. But still, it's just the six of us. That's barely enough for a decent volleyball team. I know, I've been wanting to uh, Hold on. spike. What is, who is it, what's everyone's position? Oh, uh, Byaki is obviously the liberal. You think, he, you think he's the libero? No, it's Aoi. No, Aoi's, Aoi's definitely the wing spiker. She's got the most, uh... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Mac Otto is... Mac Otto's the is coach, assistant. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Toko, Toko is a middle blocker. She doesn't want to be, but then when she snaps, she sneezes and turns the genocide gel. Nothing yeah, gets yeah, past yeah. her. Yasuhiro, he's the wall. He's he's the jump floater server, but he came. He's like Yamaguchi, but like worse. Like he can't even do a proper. He doesn't server. even ever get it. Yeah, moment. he never gets it. <laughs> yeah. uh, and Kyoko, Kyoko's just all around. Maybe Kyoko's the libero. Yeah, Kyoko's the libero. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, besides, even if one more person dies, we can still feel the basketball team. <laughs> That's like reverse positive thinking. Oh my god, I always just want everyone to die. Anyway, there's no time to be depressed. For the sake of everyone we've lost, we have to do our best. Can we stop all this group hug nonsense? We need to find out what everyone discovered. Oh man, let's see. Okay, let's talk to Byaku first, because he's so eager to talk. By the way, did any of you find it? The other strange room on the fifth floor. Well, no. Strange is a massive understatement. The smell of flesh, fat, and blood. The white, uh, the white outlines of countless corpses. It was more dreadful than anything I've encountered here so far. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> the smell itself was horrific, far beyond any normal murder scene. Every body's smell concentrated. God, I'm glad I didn't see it. I feel like I'm gonna barf just hearing you describe it. But I mean, what the hell happened in that room? I can only think of one thing. A large group of people died right there in that room. A bunch of people were killed there? Stop, seriously, I'm gonna throw up. Perhaps that's what was meant by the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Alexander's biggest, most awful, most tragic, <laughs> very bad day. Huh? <laughs> well, fine, you be everybody. I mean, yeah, you were thinking the same thing then. My theory is the mass murder that took place in that room is the incident said to have happened one year ago. That awful scene in that room. Oh, you know, I mean, you could be Mac Auto too, but that was. No, no. That was the tragedy that happened a year ago? Precisely. The tragedy is another name for the genocide of the student body of Hope's Peak Academy. If that's true, that would explain why Hope's Peak was forced to close its doors. I mean, I guess that all makes sense, but it's all just so awful. Not just awful, super awfully awful. They're right. It's beyond awful. It's terrible, no good, very bad, hopeless. But still, how is it not one of us ever, ever heard about something like that happening? Does that mean they really did cover it up? Okay, where'd you find Aoi? I checked all the windows on the fifth floor, uh, front to back. That used to be kind of be Sakura's job, but... Anyway, no dice. There were metal plates on all the windows, just like everywhere else. Which means no, uh, no chance of escape on the fifth floor either. But when I was looking around, I realized something about the layout of the school- What?! <laughs> what exactly did you know- sorry for shouting. What exactly <laughs> did you notice about the layout of the school? You took a good look around the fifth floor yourself, didn't you, Makoto? Huh? Why do you ask? Because if you did, you must have noticed. The fifth floor is lacking something every other floor has. Something on all the other floors, but not on the fifth floor? Are you talking about stairs? There aren't any stairs leading up from the fifth floor. That's what you're talking about, right? Does that mean the fifth floor is the end? 
we're finally starting to get a clear picture of the school. <laughs> All that's left now is to solve the underlying mystery. But that's the hardest part. Even if it's hard, we still gotta do it. Yeah, Hina's right. Everything will be okay. As long as we work together, I'm sure we'll make it out of this. No, not I'm sure. We absolutely will make it out, no matter what it takes. Dude, my the middle school I went to in Korea was like eight floors. Oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's like some wayside school shit if you remember if you know what that was. Wayside school was a book series. No. You never read it? No, no. It had like the joke was that like they meant to do like one floor of like thirty classrooms, but instead they had thirty floors and one classroom <laughs> each. It's like a it's like a silly like book series. That's but fun. It's very funny. <laughs> my concern is with the bio lab. That was the only place on the fifth floor that we couldn't access. The bio lab, huh? I wonder what's in there. If this were like a cliche horror game, it'd be some kind of creature. Final boss, or tyrants, or... We're not in a horror game, though. Are you sure? <laughs> Either way, we don't need to worry about it at the moment. Don't bother thinking about something that can't be understood, no matter how much you think about it. Your tiny brains can only do so much, so focus on utilizing them efficiently. I don't really like how you said it, but what you said is probably right. No, how I said it is right, too. I'm going to slap you again. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> uh, I wonder if I have to, like... I I'm just going to keep talking to everyone before I go back to the... Uh, I'll wait for that reaction. Right, you probably can talk to everybody else. Well, there's a big garden up on the fifth floor. And I found more uh, more than one thing to be worried Maybe about. Maybe we'll find out. Nope, we'll find out these things next time. Oh, a lot of things to react to. A lot of things. That's going to be a whole episode next time.